Hello, I'm Steve Larson, engineer at CAT Pumps. Today we're going to talk about the temperature of a liquid that we're going to pump and how we use it to determine our inlet pressure and seal selection. So I'm going to start with drawing a pressure temperature curve on the board. We're going to put PSI over here. I'm going to start right there with zero. Zero PSI represents the atmospheric pressure that we're standing in right now today. It, there's no pressure on it and it's just atmospheric pressure. We'll call that zero PSI gauge. Then I'm going to draw a point here minus 14.7 and that represents a perfect vacuum. And then I'm going to add 30 and 60 PSI just for a scale on, it, on here. And then I'm going to start putting some temperature across the bottom. We're going to start at 40 degrees Fahrenheit here. I'm going to put 140 here. Over here we'll put uh, 190 and 212. And when we start talking about water, water as a liquid is dependent upon its temperature and pressure. So we have to look at both um, characteristics when we're talking about water. Well down at 40 degrees it's still a liquid way down at um, almost a perfect vacuum. At uh, 140, it's around minus 10 PSI is where the vapor line is. And at 212, it's at zero. So I'm going to draw this line. And everything below the line is vapor. So what this means is that at zero PSI, and 212 degrees, water will boil. And we know that because we boil water on the stove with an open, with an uncovered pot, it's at 212 degrees. So this is that vapor line that we follow. Um, and of course, this is liquid above it. Now, when we want to run a positive displacement pump, a lot of times what we look at is, okay, its rating is zero PSI for an inlet. And so, we mark that here. So we're definitely far away from the vapor line and that is good. But if we were to keep this line all the way across as we come across you can see that it's starting to get closer and closer to this lick to this vapor line. Well we don't want to do that. So that at about 130, 140 we want to take this curve, this line, and bend it up so that it stays away from this liquid vapor line. And so we want to come in here and we want to call this unsafe liquid. We don't want to try to pump this stuff. Even though it's liquid, we don't want to try to pump it because anytime we have an acceleration loss or some friction losses in the piping, we're going to pull in a vacuum and we're going to cavitate the water and we're going to have cavitation and pump problems. So we want to stay far away from this line so that we always have liquid. So anything above this line, we are going to call safe liquid. So this is how you use pressure and temperature to determine where you want your pump to be. So if you're at 140, you can be anywhere here or above. At 190, you want to be up here or above. And the other things that factor into this equation is seal selection. We have different seal materials. We have NBR. We have EPDM, we have FPM or Viton, and we have PTFE blends. By blends, I mean some of the Teflon seals that we have have carbon in them. Some have glass fibers in them. Some have uh, graphite in them. All these things help the seal to keep its shape and to uh, run with whatever liquid we're pumping. So we have all these different possibilities and then we want to look at well what are the temperature capabilities of each of these seals. Well with BUNA or NBR typically we can run 140, 150, 160. So about right here is where we stop using the BUNA because of temperature. The EPDM follows basically the same limitations. Now EPDM and NBR are two totally different materials and they're used depending on which liquid you're pumping, what's the best chemical compatibility for it. Viton 
is another compound, elastomeric compound, that'll take us up around the 190 range. And that's where that's good for. And so we have that possibility. And then the PTF blends easily can handle temperatures up to 212. And so depending on your temperature will kind of depend which um, elastomer you pick. Now the elastomer also has to meet the chemical compatibility of the liquid. Um, all of these will pump water. They're all compatible with water, but then you get into other types of liquids and chemicals in them and things like that where you have to evaluate is FPM the right material or is EPDM or NBR or do we need the PTFE. So we have all these available. Now, another thing that, that we need to talk about is the lubricity. Or lubricity decreases. So the further we go this way in temperature, the lubricity of water goes down. Well, and if something is losing its lubrication, it's more prone to attack from friction. And so we need to consider that as we get hotter and hotter this direction, we're getting less and less lubrication on the seals interface with the plunger. Another thing is, is the seals will soften the hotter they get. They become more pliable. And when they're more pliable, the elevated inlet pressure requirements make them squeeze harder on the plungers, which increases friction. So all of these things, the temperature, the lubricity, and the softening of the seals, all of those things come together to start to degrade your seal life, the hotter things are. Now, we also have a guideline that about in this area here, you may want to 60 to 80 percent speed and what I'm referring to is you want to slow your pump speed down to 60 to 80 percent in these areas so that we account for the extra friction caused by the nature of the water losing its lubricity and the seals softening and the elevated temperatures all of those things if we follow these guidelines we'll gain our seal life back so that's how we use temperature to dictate our inlet pressure and then these characteristics and the chemical compatibility to determine which seal materials we choose. Now, the last thing I want to mention is the PTF blends in specific. Remember I said they easily go to 212? Well we can actually go up to 240 Fahrenheit if we are using a liquid that has really good lubrication properties such as TEG or triethylene glycol, in this arena of liquid, we can pump that up to 240 because at these elevated temperatures, it still has good lubricity properties to give us long seal life with the PTFE blends.